Hi, the purpose of this video is to walk you through module four, Power BI assignments. So let's begin. Basically, you're gonna walk through and in, enter into the virtual desktop infrastructure, VDI, and access the Super Excel workbook in the VDI structure, and then go ahead and create a couple simple charts in the Power BI, okay? So let's begin. I'm gonna be switching different screens throughout this exercise, so please bear with me. First of all, you're gonna to go to this URL here, snhu.vmwareidentity.com. The URL will redirect you to this page, and here's where you'll sign in to the system. You'll use your, your, your typical um, SNHU, um, ID and password, okay? Once you've logged in, you're gonna be prompted in a screen here, okay? So once you log in, you'll get this screen, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and click on the desktop business analytics. Now, this does take a moment or two to load based upon your internet connectivity, so just have some patience. So just to give you some background, you're not on your computer, you're on the VDI computer, okay? It's simulating a Windows environment, okay? So and if you look at the URL closely, it even has my username up here. My login has my username here. So we're good, okay? So it knows where we're at, all right? Now, here's what I recommend you do. I recommend you open up Google Chrome, okay? And what I recommend you do is, is www.office.com, all right? And while you're doing that is you wanna log into your, you wanna sign into Office to access your email, okay? Your, your, your Southern New Hampshire University email account, okay? Because when you're done with these files, you're gonna email them to yourself from this VDI infrastructure, from this application, okay? So, all right, so, we're, so we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. So, so you can see I have a desktop. We're going to click on Power BI Desktop. And it, like I say, it does take a minute to open up the application based upon your inactivity, um, internet connectivity speed and whatnot. Um, it does take a minute or two to open up. So just have some patience. Okay, great. So now we're in Power BI Desktop, okay? And what I need to do here is I need to go ahead and access the data, okay? I'm going to click this X for now. And I'm going to go to File, Get Data. And I'm going to click on Text CSV, Text CSV. And what I'm looking for here, I'm going to click on Desktop. And it says Business Analytics Course Content. I'll double click here. And it takes me to two folders, MBA 504 and MBA 540. We're going to click, obviously, on MBA 504. And we're looking for this file here, okay? MBA 504 Superstore Excel Workbook. We're going to go ahead. It takes a moment to open up. And what this display is saying, hey, you're importing a CSV file, okay? So it's basically the Superstore orders, okay, in a CSV file. And it says, you know, delimited comma, comma delimited, um, based on the first two in a row, so that's what you're kind of see. it's kind of concluding that. And we're gonna click, and it's obviously just gonna give you a preview because of all the data we got in there. I'm gonna click okay, I'm gonna load the data. It takes a second to, uh, to load here, again, because of a lot of records. And we're good. Okay, so good. Now loaded the data. So let's take a moment and go to the document, the requirements document. Okay, the PDF, the manual, the PDF manual that came with this assignment here. Okay. So all right. So we're gonna we're, we're over here actually create a pie chart, create a count card too. So let, let's do that. Okay. So we're through all these steps here. And so basically we want to create a pie chart. So what it's saying here is click the pie chart visual drag it to our workspace, and then go ahead and add the fields we need to add. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here for a minute, and all right, so let's stay here for a minute. I'm gonna go back to Power BI. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pie chart visual, 
And notice they drags it here. So I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little larger here. Okay, so now I got this whole thing. And let's go back here to this here. Order dates, there's no requirements. Order date goes under details and product name goes under values. Okay, so let's go back here. Order date goes under details and then product name goes under values. And it says count a product name by order date. That's what we have here. And if I look here at our document, let's see how we did. Yep, kind of looks the same as our requirements document. And I'm going to take it. So, so that's good. So simple pie chart, okay, showing all our, our order dates. And, and um, let's go back and look at this. This is order dates here. It has a little color thing, and it has the number of, it's a count of product name. So I'm assuming that's the count of the number of products that were ordered on that date, okay? So let's do this. Let's go to File. Export. Okay, but well, before we do that, it says here, let's see. X name the PDF file for Pi Chart Power BI Chart One. So I'm gonna copy that. All right. I'll go back here and click export. Export the PDF. All right, so here's the file. It's a PDF file, but I gotta save it. So I'm gonna click this little save icon here. So I'm, I'm viewing the PDF file. Here, we're gonna click here under the save and and let's see if it's saved it for us. So I'm gonna, ah, there it is. Okay, it took a second, like I say, I'm gonna, it, it's going to this PC download. So it's gonna go, in, again, we're in the VDI. It's not going to your PC downloads. It's not going to your laptop, your you know, your desktop, your computer cells go into the VDI system download. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that name in here. So I'm downloading a PDF file, the Power BI chart one, I'm gonna call that, that's the pie chart, as a PDF file in my downloads folder on the VDI system. All right, so we have that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close this window. Don't need open right now. Okay, so now let's do this now. Let's, we can, we actually right click on this, I believe. No, no, no. So we're gonna we can delete this. And I deleted it because now we're gonna make another chart here. I'm gonna do what's called a again, based upon our requirements here. I could it's gonna do a cluster column chart. Okay, that's what it wants, a cluster column chart. All right, so I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna skip to what it wants here. Okay, this is important. And I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on the cluster column icon. Takes a second. There it is. Okay, great. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here and drag the corner, make it any size I want. Now it's saying, okay, so let's add some stuff here. It says here in the access, I want to add an order date, and the values I want to add in product name. Okay. So the access, I'm gonna add an order date. And then in the Values I want to add in product name. Now, that is, we're there, but we're not 100% there because it should look almost something like, like this, okay? This is what we're aiming for, okay? So now, how do we get it to this visualization here? I'll explain why in a minute. What is this? It's, it's, it's counting it by year, but we don't want to do it. So the axis for order I'm going to just see where it says year. I'm gonna just click this X. Now it shows it by quarter, I'm gonna click that X too. Now it shows it by month. So it shows a counter product day by month, okay? So now we have our chart, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead, go back to my, my assignment here that says here, name the PDF power underscore BI underscore chart two. Copy that, go back here. I'm gonna go file. In export again, export the PDF. It takes a second here. And there's my chart. So I'm gonna click this little save icon here. And I'm gonna call it power underscore bi underscore chart two. Save it. Okay, great. So I got my first, so just a quick overview on how Power BI works, a couple of charts. Okay, now. How do I get this assignment 
to my actual, actual computer to save and submit it to Brightspace. Okay, so I just want to minimize this. Remember how I said earlier to go ahead and open up Chrome? So basically what you need to do is sign in to your account. Sign in to your email account, all right? And just email it to yourself. So sign in to your email account and email it to yourself. Now, where are these two files on the computer? Again, I remember I'm not in this window here. I'm in, the, again, the VDI application. So, so where, where are these two files, where are these actual two files in this, in this, in this cloud area, we call it cloud, in this cloud area. Okay, so I'm gonna go to um, my documents. I'm gonna go to downloads and hit it right here, okay? So when you go to email these two files and go to attach, you're gonna be looking in the downloads folder for these two files, okay? And there you go. So that concludes this assignment. Thank you very much.